Well, here we go, and here we are. And I want to tell you, it's great to have Robin back in the studio with us. <laughs> We're on the Live on Lakeside set. I know. And a lot of people this... thought that we probably should have been hosting that <laughs> Live on Lakeside instead of what we were doing. There's always, we were, there's always, there's always a, yeah, there it there's is. There's always a chance. Welcome back. And I'm Thank serious, you. okay? I have missed you so much doing the show. And I said that your last night. I know. I had so much fun doing the show with you. I have missed you greatly, oh. but I enjoy watching you when I have cable. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Sometimes they turn it off. All right. No, I'm kidding. Well, there might be a little something in an envelope for you when you leave here tonight. All right, so here you are. We've okay. been following your life, okay, mm -hmm. and we've been following you in your Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize winning column on the Akron Beacon <laughs> Journal. Yes. Connie so Schultz, you got nothing on her. That's right. All right, yeah, but we've been following you. your life, so bring us up to date. How is Robin Swoboda doing? How long is the show? How long is the segment? Uh, it's about <laughs> four and a half more minutes. <laughs> okay, I better talk fast. No verbs. My life is great. It's, it is great, but um, I, I've had some twists and turns along the road since I left here, and the most recent was um, I was uh, I, I got hit in the jaw by a dog. Really? Yes, <laughs> a golden retriever, and you know how they have those those heads that yeah. are like yeah, they are kind of blocked out. Yeah, yeah. just so hit me in the jaw, sent me to the emergency room. He tore my meniscus. Uh, I couldn't eat for a week. You'd think I'd be a little thinner, but. Um, <laughs> Darn it! Uh, a woman made me soup, and she was talking about her daughter having breast cancer. And I, that weekend, did a self-examination, which is something I don't even like to shower naked anymore. But um, okay, <laughs> it's just an older yeah. woman. Thing. Okay, yeah, Cheryl, will get I'm it. following. Anyway, so I, I found a lump, and it was wow. cancer. And I it mean, shocking right away. I knew it. So you knew it right I knew, away. I, yeah. I, I, I knew it the minute I found it. And um, so, you know, they, I, I got in, you know, pretty quickly and um, had the lumpectomy. And now I'm waiting. There's, a, there's an Oncotype test that will tell you the likelihood of reoccurrence. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, if, the, if that comes back positive, they're recommending um, chemo and radiation. Okay. So let's talk about that, okay? Because okay. I know you've been talking about that. You've yes. been talking about chemo yes. and the effect it would have on your hair. Right. Now, I can. this is the only cosmetic thing I can help you with. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I had that, yeah, and I lost did. my hair. Okay? Right. And you're wondering about how your hair grows back. Right. And I wanted to tell you, because Cheryl told me this because she cut my hair. When it grew back, it did grow back very thick and in, in yes. four or five different directions. Oh! <laughs> what do they call those? Collets? Yeah. 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 Like four or five different... you before? Well, no, I had one, but not one. four or five, and they were going everywhere. Well, you have beautiful Go hair ahead, now. Grab it to make it free. Th that's yeah, real, that's baby. Good. There it is. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> You're going to get I, it if yeah, that happens. Because I mean, my hair has been, I'm experiencing a little a, a smidgen of female pattern baldness, and it's white, so I figure it can come back and behave itself. So now you got to tell your kids and yeah, everyone I in your family, yeah. and how was that, mm -hmm. tough? Um, yeah, you know, it was because you... I did not fear anything, but when I looked at my three children, yeah. you know, who are all in their 20s now, right. and I saw their lips. Yeah, because they know what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, everybody yeah, knows what it's they, about. You, you because automatically think the worst. And it, and it affects, it, it's walking yeah. in, unfortunately, to a lot of people's lives. Right. Right, sure, that you hear it, oh about? Oh, my word. Oh, it's unbelievable. But you have an amazing attitude, as you always yeah. do with everything, Thank right? You. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know what? I look at it as a blessing because, uh, first of all, it got my kids to go to church with me. <laughs> I'm like, but I have cancer. Can I, do so. I have an amen from the congregation? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George. And, um, you know, I've heard from people from, you know, that I, that I went to high school with, that, that I worked with, you know, in my early days in television. And it's just been amazing. And so many people have shared their positive stories. Yeah. You know, I've heard some very sad stories, but it just has brought me into a new community of, of a whole group of people, doctors and, and medical care people mm -hmm. included, that I would never have been friends yeah, with. Yeah, well, you're going you're gonna to make lifelong connections with those yeah, people. Yeah. I mean, you really will. Yeah, well, right. Nothing right? like you did. No, I'm telling you, you, though, you yeah. will. And, and those nurses and doctors and and people, and I see on your Facebook page, mm -hmm. you know, all these people, you know, yeah. thumbs up and go at I it, and, and that's very, very important. It's all right, so now you're hanging around with us for the rest of the show. You're not getting rid of me. Not at all. So. No.